Look or subscribe for the next five seconds or else the spider will be on your bed tonight. Yo guys, welcome back. It's Mr. Vince and today we got even more news from Bedemo that we're going to be talking about in this video. So before I actually go ahead and continue on, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button or else the spider will be under your bed tonight as you probably expected. So as you can tell, we got some smaller changes coming up in the March update and they're pretty tiny, but it's uh, pretty awesome to see these changes coming up. So these new features coming to the game are just going to be extremely, extremely game changing. They're going to help out new players and it's good. So let's go over the first one <laughs> we have in the list. Hopefully they fix the trampoline glitch. But anyways, so the first up we have is the return of the silenced pistol. Oh yes, the silenced pistol is returning to jailbreak after a year of removal because Vadimo forgot to add the weapon to the game. Now, if you do not know what a silent pistol was, it was basically a weapon that allowed players to shoot silently without any noise, although that's for long range and was given to players that have the Swag Game Pass. So, well, I'm going to go ahead and equip the pistol. Now, if you're a Swag Game Pass owner, this is the design of the pistol. I don't know if it's the same for non-Swag Game Pass owners, but as far as I can tell, this is the design of the pistol when you have the Swag Game Pass. I'm not completely sure if it changes with the non-Swag Game Pass pistol, but I'm pretty sure it does not. But anyways, the Silence Pistol will act the same as it does before so there's nothing changed about the sweat pistol you know it will be epic and it does have a new model it looks phenomenal i'm just so glad they're adding it back after a year of its removal so now we're going to be looking at even smaller changes that are coming up the first step we have in the list is the robbery notifications <laughs> And no, there's nothing new about robbery notifications, but there is something new about robbery markers. So if you do not know what they are, and I don't use them because I know how to find a robbery. So here are robbery markers, and you already know what they look like, right? Most new players have robbery markers on. Pretty much the entire jailbreak community use robbery markers, although some of them don't like username or VG. Most of the people that play jailbreak already know how to find robberies. I don't use them because I'm an OG veteran. I know how to play jailbreak properly and I don't need them. And basically they're just here to allow new players to figure out where a robbery is. Excluding the cargo train, the passenger train, the cargo ship, and the cargo plane. Yes, you can also find the bank truck, only the entrance, not the actual truck itself. So as you can see, we are actually getting a change where the robbery markers will detect if it's open or not. Although it's a lot more delayed than the beloved boss game pass. With the boss game pass, you get robbery notifications. And to make things fair, they had to make it so it's a little more delayed for robbery markers to detect if they're open or not. This is good for boss game pass owners and... Asimo just uh, used the anti G on my Bugatti. <laughs> what the heck? Why? Why did you use the anti G on the Bugatti? Don't know why the Bugatti had to stop like that. But anyways, so yeah, that's uh, pretty cool for the robbery markers to finally detect if they're open or not. And no, this does not copy Mad City because obviously the robbery markers are delayed compared to Mad City's robbery markers. So yeah, they're not copied. Don't worry. Anyways. The next thing we're going to look at is probably the largest change that was ever made to Jailbreak. And that is the gun spam. That is right, guys. Gun spam has been greatly nerfed. And as you can tell, it's a lot different. And yeah. So now when you actually equip a weapon, there is now a slight delay when equipping so that is a uh, very good not gonna lie and this guy is trying to arrest me he's trying to kill me oh no oh no oh no this is not good this is not good <laughs> okay oh, no no okay yeah I'm, I'm dead i'm dead i can die okay there 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 we go <laughs> gg gg boy uh thanks for the key card by the way anyways so yes the 
Guns are now going to have a slight delay when equipping them to prevent gun spam. That is good. That is super, super positive. I'm so glad they're adding this change. This is to prevent abuse on the gun spam. It's like so abusive back then. Now they're finally nerfing it, so that's good. Not totally going to be removed, but it's going to be a great nerf for the gun spam. But on topic of that, there is another change where guns no longer reload in the background. And if you do not know what this means, well, I'll explain. So let's say that the shotgun has ran out of ammo. Previously, when your shotgun was reloading and you unequip it, the shotgun goes up to 5 in terms of ammo. That is a bad thing. Not all guns have this trait though, so here's the pistol. I'm going to unequip it, and yeah, the pistol does not have this trait. So that's going to be a giant nerf for the shotgun. So now you can no longer, you know, reload in the background. That is good. That's a very big positive right there. And I'm going to wrap it up for today's video. There's no more news I have to explain. So far, those are the news that are coming up. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never have to miss a video. And as always, my name is Mr. Vince. Have a great day and I'll see you guys next time.